In this example, uh, we're going to consider an application of uh, an absolute value inequality. Uh, so we're told here that the average height of adult males uh, is 68.2 inches, and um, that 95% of adult males have height uh, h that um, satisfies the following uh, absolute value inequality. Uh, so we have h minus 68.2 uh, divided by 2.9. Uh, the absolute value of this quantity has to be less than or equal to uh, 2. Um, and what we want to do is solve this inequality and then um, um, interpret the results of the solution to that uh, inequality. Um, so in order to uh, solve this inequality, um, the way I'm going to go about it is um, uh, think about the geometric interpretation of absolute value. So remember, uh, geometrically, the absolute value of a quantity tells us the distance uh, that quantity is away from zero on uh, the number line. So if we apply that um, a geometric interpretation to this absolute value inequality, uh, what this inequality tells us is that uh, the distance uh, that this quantity h minus 68.2 divided by 2.9 uh, is away from the number line, uh, is away from zero on the number line, uh, has to be uh, less than or equal to two units. In other words, um, uh, this quantity is uh, uh, no more than two units away from um, zero uh, on the number line. Um, so let's draw a picture of uh, this situation. So I'm going to draw a picture of a number line here. Uh, so here's zero on the number line, and of course uh, the numbers to the right of zero on the number line. Um, uh, those numbers are positive, and the numbers uh, to the left of zero uh, on the number line, uh, these numbers are uh, negative. So um, if we think about um, uh, uh, quantities uh, that are no more uh, than two units um, away from zero on the number line, well, these quantities uh, could be in uh, uh, the positive direction away from zero, or they could be uh, in the negative direction away from zero. But in either case, uh, if their absolute value is um, no more than two, uh, like this quantity h minus 68.2 uh, over 2.9, um, then um, um, they cannot be further than two units away from zero on the number line. So uh, what numbers um, on the number line are no more uh, than two units away uh, from zero on the number line. Well, uh, for numbers in the negative direction, negative numbers, uh, uh, those numbers uh, that are uh, no more than two units away from zero on the number line begin at minus two. Um, because any number uh, less than minus two to the left of minus two on the number line is going to be further than two units away from zero uh, on the number line. And in the positive direction, um, uh, numbers that are no more than two units away from zero on the number line, uh, these numbers end at um, positive two, right? Because any number uh, to the right of positive two or greater than positive two is going to be more than two units away uh, from zero on the number line. So uh, quantities with absolute value uh, less than or equal to two, uh, notice that those quantities have to fall between uh, minus two and two. Uh, on the number line. So what that tells me is that this quantity, uh, h minus 68.2 divided by 2.9, that quantity has to fall in uh, this uh, set, uh, the set of numbers between uh, minus 2 and positive 2 uh, on the number line. And uh, that observation now is what's going to allow us to solve this absolute value inequality for h, because we can take this observation uh, uh, of uh, the fact that uh, uh, the quantity h minus 68.2 over 2.9 has to fall between uh, minus 2 and 2. Uh, and we can rewrite that as a compound inequality. So we know that h minus 68.2 uh, divided by 2.9 has got to be bigger than or equal to minus 2. It can't be to the left of minus 2 on the number line. Uh, but at the same time, it's got to be less than or equal to positive 2. It can't be to the right of positive 2 uh, on the number line. And now we can use our knowledge of solving compound inequalities uh, to solve this compound inequality for h. And then therefore, we'll also have the solution of this um, absolute value inequality uh, for h. 
Right, so how do I go about solving this uh, compound inequality for H? Well, that's relatively straightforward. First, we want to clear the fraction from this compound inequality. So I can do that by multiplying all three parts of this uh, compound inequality by this denominator, uh, 2.9. So let me start by uh, doing that. So I'll multiply the right-hand side of this inequality by 2.9, and then I'm going to multiply the middle part of this inequality by uh, 2.9. And then also multiply the right-hand uh, part of this uh, inequality by um, 2.9. And now when I uh, simplify here, I'll get, uh, well, 2.9 minus 2 is uh, minus 5.8 uh, is less than or equal to, in the middle, uh, the 2.9s are going to divide out. So I'll just get h minus uh, 68.2 in the middle for the middle part of this compound inequality. And then on the right-hand side here, I get 2 times 2.9, which is positive 5.8. And now to finish solving uh, this compound inequality, all I have to do is add 68.2 to all three parts of the inequality. So we would have 68.2 uh, plus this minus 5.8, less than or equal to h minus uh, 68.2 plus 68.2. And then less than or equal to 5.8 uh, plus uh, 68.2. Uh, so let's see, 5.8 plus 68.2, that's going to be 74. Of course, in the middle, the minus 68.2 and the positive 68.2 are going to cancel. So I'll just get h. And then on the left-hand side here, we get um, uh, 68.2 uh, minus uh, 5.8. And I believe that simplifies to 62.4, uh, if I'm doing my um, arithmetic there uh, correctly. Ah, so here's the solution to our compound inequality, and then uh, also the solution to this original absolute value inequality. Uh, we know that h uh, itself must be greater than or equal to 62.4, uh, but at the same time less than or equal to uh, 74. So h has to be a number somewhere between 62.4 uh, and uh, 74. Okay, so now how do we interpret this result? Well, remember uh, h uh, was uh, represented a height of uh, average height um, uh, of adult males. Uh, so we know that 95% um, uh, um, of uh, adult males. are uh, between um, 62.4 and uh, 70, 74, if I can write that correctly, 74 uh, inches um, tall. So there's our uh, interpretation. So this is about uh, five uh, 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 feet two inches, a little bit more than five feet two inches, and this is, uh, I think, six feet um, two inches. So 95% of adult males are between um, five foot two and uh, six foot two.